हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ ट्रिकोपीडिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट एस कवर द क्विक वे टू कैलकुलेट कॉन्वल्यूशन ऑफ फाइनाइट लेंस सिग्नल्स एंड यस लेट मी फर्स्ट टॉक यू अबाउट द फाइनाइट लेंस सिग्नल्स बट देन आई विल टेक सम अदर क्वेश्चन विच आर इनफाइनाइट लेंथ कैन बी सॉल्व बाय सेम ट्रिक जस्ट एट यून एंड लर्न ओके सो नॉर्मली कॉन्वल्यूशन सम इन डिस्क्रीट टाइम वी डिफाइन इट एज एक्स एन कॉन्वल्यूशन एच एन विच इज समेशन एक्स के एच एन माइनस के एंड इफ यू अपलाई दिस स्पेशली ऑन फाइनाइट लेंस सिग्नल्स द प्रोसेस बिकम्स लेंदी हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई इट लेट्स लर्न इट बाय अ मेथड एंड द मेथड इज गोइंग टू बी नेम एज द सम बाई column method okay so here we have the sum by column method and two signals are given hn and xn what is the first step you are going to follow write down any one of the signal okay uh, on this stop okay and another one 2 minus 1 3 across this vertical line you can swap it also because convolution is commutative now next is multiply this 2 by all the numbers on the top so this becomes 2 4 4 6 similarly multiply all the numbers on the top by minus 1 and write down the result one unit right So I get the result minus one, minus two, minus two, and uh, minus three. Multiply by three. Write down the result. One more right shifted. Okay, this is three six six nine, and then do the sum by column. Okay, so if you keep doing sum by column, this is two. Then this becomes three. This add add five. Okay, this becomes ten. This is three, and this is nine. Okay. Now the origin, the sample H n starts from zero. The sample X n also starts from zero because arrow means what? Origin. Origin means zero. Right. Output will also start from zero. Output will also start from zero because some of starting indexes are added. Okay, so that is why output also starts from origin. The first sample itself is origin. The starting index is equal to some of the starting index of x n and h n. Some other properties are also mentioned for your reference, but this is the important point I want to use for this technique. Now, if the uh, if the given signals are not starting from origin, then also it is very simple. Okay, the calculation method is very same. So let me write down first. One four three eight and one two four on the border. Again, you can swap it also. Multiply by one on the top. One four three eight. I will get multiply by two with the top elements. So I get two eight six sixteen. Similarly, multiply by four. I get some result. And next is the same. Do sum by column, right? So when you add, this is one. This is six. This becomes fifteen. This is how much thirty. This is twenty eight, and this is thirty two. But where will the output start? Okay, now the sum of starting indices are added, na. So if this is origin, this is minus one. Yeah, let me write it here. Actually, if this is origin, this is minus one and this is minus two. Clear, everybody? Yeah. Okay. So this is minus one, minus two, one. If this is origin, this is minus one and this is plus one. Okay. What is the sum of starting index? Minus two plus minus one is minus three. That means the output should start from minus three. Output should start from minus three. If this is minus three, minus two, minus one, here I get the arrow. Here I get the origin. Simple enough or simple करते हैं इसको but this is what the arrow should be at 30. This is the output. Okay. How to make it more simple? So rather than counting minus टू minus वन time index, you can count the location of the arrow. So वन टू थ्री This is the third position starting from beginning. वन टू This is second position. Okay. So add the position of the arrow which is थ्री plus टू and do minus वन You will get फोर Right, you will get fourth position. So output arrow should be at the fourth position. Everybody can count fourth, na? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. The output is at the fourth position. Right? Can I also solve a good question asked in the gate 2012 IIT Delhi, one of the good papers of ECWE, which was made? But these signals are infinite length. These are not finite length. This is going up to U and U and goes to infinity. G n is also a Gaussian sequence. Gaussian sequence means, of course, it will be zero for n less than zero. But starting from zero, even it can go till infinity. So these are infinite length. But can I use the same smart trick? Because if you solve this question by summation, and you will see the solution in many books by summation method, it is lengthy. Okay, let's simplify this quickly. G n is equal to zero for n less than zero. So G n starts from origin, right? G not G one etc. This will be the origin. H n is given to you half power n u n u n also starts from origin so this is the first value half power zero then half power one half power two etc apply the same sum by column right g not g one on the top side me likh diya one one by two one by four etc multiply by one then multiply by half multiply by one by four etc 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 now do the sum by column add these elements okay so first is g not next is g one plus g not by two next etc. Okay, now if you have noticed the question, why not is given to you as one. Okay, but what is why not? Now x, uh, h n and x n both starting from origin. Okay, so this will also be starting from origin, right? Zero plus zero sum of starting index. So this is the first value of the output. This is like why not? Okay, so this is why not, which is one that is equal to g not. So g not is also one, right? Next value here is y one is given to you as half. But what is y one here? That is g one plus g not by But G not, how much is one? Okay, so this is one by two. This is also one by two. That will be cancelled. 
Okay, after cancellation, G0 is equal to nothing is left. G, G1 is equal to 0. Okay, G1 is equal to 0. Option number A is a very correct answer, very simply. And if you have understood this trick, okay, let me give you one more. A two marker gate question. Okay, can you solve using the same trick? This is the solution discussed. A gate two mark question as a homework. I request you, all of you, please try using the same trick. And can you give me the answer very quickly for this question in the comment box? And then I will also reply whether your answer is correct or not. Use the same technique and you should be able to get and you will feel yes, with confidence you can score the two marks. And if you have liked the trick, hit the like button and share with all your friends. Thank you. Stay subscribed to Baiju's Exam Prep YouTube channel.